hi welcome back to my channel let's find the value of x first because the value whatever we are looking for is our exponent the only way to find its value is to uh, introduce log to both sides of the equation or to introduce a length that is natural log to both sides of the equation all right so let's introduce log log to both sides okay log to both sides so we have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 30. All right, when you have log a raised to the power of b, this is equal to b multiplied by log a, okay? So that means that we'll write this as x multiplied by log 4 is equal to log 30, okay? Now, let's divide both sides by log 4, okay? Divide both sides, divide both sides by log 4, okay? So, now we have x log 4 divided by log 4 is equal to log 30 divided by log 4. All right, now log 4, we divide itself, we have 1. 1 times x will give us x is equal to log 30 divided by log 4. Now log 30, 30 is equal to, but 30 is equal to 6 multiplied by 5, okay? So that means that we write this as x is equal to log 6 multiplied by 5 divided by log 4. Now when you have log a multiplied by b, this is equal to log a plus log b. Okay? So that means that we can write this as x is equal to log 6 plus log 5 divided by log 4. Now remember that when you have a plus b divided by c, this is equal to a divided by c plus b divided by c. That means that we can write this as x is equal to log 6 divided by log 4 plus log 5 divided by log 4. Okay, if this is the first time you are seeing us, please click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Okay, we upload our videos every day. Tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. Give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue. So, when you look at this, you will see that x is equal to now 6 can be expressed as 2 multiplied by 3. Okay, so we have log 2 multiplied by 3 divided by log 4 plus log 5 divided by log 4. So we can write this as x is equal to log 2 plus log 3 divided by log 4 plus log 5 divided by log 4. Okay, so that means that we can still express this as x is equal to log 2 divided by log 4 plus log 3 divided by log 4 plus log 5 divided by log 4. Okay, now log 4, 4 is equal to 2 squared. All right, 4 is equal to 2 squared. So that means that we can write this as x is equal to log 2 divided by log 2 squared. Okay, I don't know if you can still see this. Plus log 3 divided by log 2 squared plus log 5 divided by log 2 squared. All right, now let me clean out this so that we can use this one, this side, okay? All right, so this is where we are, this place. So we can write x to be equal to, now using the power rule, this becomes 2 log 2, okay? So we have log 2 divided by 2 log 2 plus log 
3 divided by 2 log 2 plus log 5 divided by 2 log 2. Okay? All right. Now, log 2 will divide itself to give us 1. So, x is equal to this will be 1 over 2 plus this will be 1 over 2 log 3 divided by log 2 plus this is 1 over 2 log 5 divided by log 2. All right. Now, we can factorize half from all of them yes so we have x is equal to half bracket when this is divided by this we have one plus when this is divided by this we have log three over log two plus when this is divided by this we have log five over log two okay now i want us to remember remember that log a divided by log b is equal to log A base B. Okay? So that means that we can write this as we can write this as X is equal to half bracket 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2. All right? Yeah. Now, this can also be expressed as x is equal to 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2, everything divided by 2. Now, let us prove that the answer we got is correct because that is the most amazing aspect of this video. Okay? So, let's go ahead and do that. Now, the question says that 4 to the power of x is equal to 30. So, 4 to the power of our x is 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 divided by 2. Okay? Now, everything is equal to 30. Alright? Now, 4 can be expressed as 2 squared. Permit me to start from here. 4 can be expressed as 2 squared. So, we have 2 to the power of 2, bracket 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 divided by 2. All right? All right. Is this really equal to 30? Now, remember that when you have A to the power of m raised to the power of n, okay? That this is equal to a to the power of m times n or multiplied by n. So that means that this is 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by this. That means this can cancel this and we are left with 2 to the power of 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2, okay? Now, is this really equal to 30? If you look at this, I want us to remember the law of exponents that states that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So that means that this can be written as 2 to the power of 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of log 3 base 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of log 5 base 2. Now, is this really equal to 30? Now, remember that a to the power of log b base a is equal to b. Okay? Once this and this are equal, the answer is b. Now, let's relate it to what we have here. We have 2 multiplied by this and this are the same. So, this is 3 multiplied by this and this are the same. So, this is 5 is equal to 30. Now we have 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So you can see that 30 is equal to 30. That proves that the answer is correct. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.